here we go. So today's vlog is a little bit different. This is a video of footage that I have spent the past like month and a half collecting I think. I decided after I handed in my resignation at my job that I really wanted to document the process of like launching my business. Um, I thought it would be something really cool to look back on over the years and just kind of ex uh, capture I guess the raw excitement and then the like exhaustion and just the roller coaster that is launching a business. So I really hope you guys enjoy this little behind the scenes sneak peek and if you haven't already check out my quitting video where I explained my whole career journey. I'm also going to be having a vlog coming this week which is going to be my first week in business so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe and yeah let's get into it. So today is October 20 damn it I just looked at the date and then I Six, forgot 26. Uh, okay take two. So today is October 26th Tara's here. She's trying to. Oh my god, you're like trying to peep in on the vlog, and then, know, you, act, and then and you act like you don't want to be in it when I turn the camera to you. Today is a very exciting day, though, because this is kind of like the very beginning process of my business. We're building the website, and step one is taking photos. So what do you mean? This is El Ellen's business. I'm not involved. <laughs> you're my photographer, and I'm just the free assistant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, she's here to hold the camera. I'm a designer now. She's my consultant. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, you're consultant. And you're not paying me. I mean, I can give you some money. I can buy you some food. <laughs> <laughs> so because I want to just be super extra, I've rented an Airbnb for this photo shoot. It's literally just for my website. Um, I'm so excited though. So we've just shot this first outfit, this beautiful new dress that I bought from Q. Now it's time to get changed into the next outfit. I'll give you a little tour of this Airbnb later. But ooh, this is my little like clothing rack over here. So as you can see, I'm going for a very orange and white theme. So should I do orange top and white yeah, pants? Yeah, top. it's gonna be the next outfit. We're doing the next shot, which involves a very important element of my branding for my new business, Rosé. Thank you for the dancing in the background, Tara. Okay. I was so going to be is... dancing and then you started vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop. Keeping it, keeping it cool. another shot on this colorful bed. Very cute. The struggle when Tara doesn't have an assistant. Look at her, trying to hold the flicky and take photos. The camera's so heavy. <laughs> you were literally like yeah. puffing before. I was like <laughs> 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 So Tara has gone home now. I just walked with her to her car. Got myself some fries from KFC. I was actually looking for potato chips but I couldn't find a dairy. So now I'm gonna finish my glass of rosé that I started drinking during our shoot. I'm gonna have a little bit of a break, watch a YouTube video, and then I'll probably start editing the photos. I've just had a look at them on the camera and they look so amazing. So thank you Tara for taking those, but I'm really excited because this is when like the website really comes together once you have the images and yeah, I'm gonna have a go at designing it myself. I'll show you the template I'm gonna buy actually. I love how this is like aesthetic with like flowers and rosé and then I have this like ugly bag of KSC right here. Um, anyway, this is the template that I'm buying. This is their website here and you buy these little like square, pa square space kits and they kind of have like the layout all ready for you and then you just like slot in your own images. I'll probably change up the colors and the fonts a little bit as well. But yeah, that's how things are going. Good morning. I am definitely looking less glam <laughs> this morning than I was yesterday. But it is Sunday now. It's just gone past 10 o'clock. I'm sorry if it's really noisy in the background. I just put the dishwasher on because I need to check out if this Airbnb by 11. I actually want to go at 10.30 so I can go to a yoga class. But I thought I'd just give you a quick little update on my website. So I actually stayed up till midnight last night working on it because the way this template works, like you have to hand load every single aspect in from like the heading to the subheadings to the third fonts and to this color and that color and you're like copying and pasting colors. It's 
very long process. Um, so it doesn't look like I've made that much progress. I'm really just loading the template. I haven't even started loading my own images. This is what it's looking like. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that my company is called Dishing Up Digital. But there you go. So all of these images in here are just their like stock images. I haven't put mine in yet. Um, and then this is just like junk text. It doesn't have any text in it yet. But I have put this one image in, which I shot today. Um, it's got a little get in touch thing on there. Um, these are sort of stock images again. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of work to do, but I think, I think I've made the good decision. I like this template. Oh, and I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of this place. And if I remember, I'll try to link it in the description box below in case anyone else is interested in coming here. So this is the living and kitchen area. We've got a TV cabinet here, this beautiful blue velvet couch, some lovely pictures, love these side tables. They've got like a mirrored top and they're gold, so pretty. We've got the sunlight streaming in off this beautiful Juliet balcony. Tara took some really nice shots of me out there as well. And then I love these little mustard poof things. They're so cute and I just, I love the color palette. It is so gorgeous. We have a little cabinet over here with some wine glasses, dishwasher, sorry, that's on, some of my stuff. Pretty basic kitchen, there's a pantry in there and a fridge there, lovely gold mirror. Then we come downstairs. Oh, you can see it quite well from up here. This is like the bedroom. We've got this amazing headboard with matching wallpaper. This wallpaper like continues down the stairs as well. They've even got like blue carpet. How amazing is that? Um, they have these beautiful like blinds, um, but I've just opened them up to get some more light in here. That's their wardrobe, we're not allowed in there. <laughs> um, this is all of my junk, because I'm in the middle of packing. There's a washer and dryer behind there. This is the little bathroom. I can't turn the fan off though, so it's quite noisy. And then there is a third level, which I haven't been down to very much because it's quite dark down here, which is a bit of a shame. But they've got like a little third bed in case there were like a couple of people who wanted, I mean a second bed, <laughs> a second bed in case you wanted like, I don't know, you're quite good for like a family or whatever. Um, there's this cute chair here, which would have been good for photos, but again, it was just so dark down here. So yeah, that was the little behind the scenes look at my branded photo shoot for my website. I'm gonna keep taking you along as I build my website and prepare myself for the launch of my business, which is slightly terrifying. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Monday the 28th of November and I actually wasn't gonna vlog today, I think. Yeah, I vlogged yesterday, so I wasn't gonna vlog today. Um, but I was just feeling really excited and inspired today and I really wanna try like capture these moments and the lead up to leaving my job and starting my business. Yeah, and I'm feeling really excited because yesterday I basically spent the whole day designing my website, which is a little bit crazy to me because that is a long time but let me show you what I've done so I've started loading all of my images in that we took at the shoot and I am just obsessed with how they all look this is kind of like the home page got some text in here a little get in touch services a ref uh, reference recommendation quote thing from one of my clients um, a little about me I haven't filled this in yet because I feel like writing about yourself is not like is this not the hardest thing ever like you feel so braggy and weird let me a comment down below if you can relate to this <laughs> so I'm like literally leaving that to last now this website is going to be live by the time you're watching this guys so make sure you go check that out as well that will be the first links link in the description box but this is just what I'm sort of working with at the moment and up here I've also added a little coaching tab um, and this stays coming soon because this is something that I'm really keen to do as part of my business. But I'm not really sure what I want my coaching topic to be yet. Going through this like process of quitting my job and starting this business, I've done quite a few online courses. Actually, no, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I've done like two <laughs> and possibly looking at a third. And I've had a lot of like support from like friends and family as well, of course. But in a way, this process is kind of lonely in the sense that like this is your business. You're doing it yourself. All these decisions come down to you. You have to do the work. Um, and I, I really, that's why I really like these coaching programs that I've done because you get that person's like second opinion, you get that input, you get advice with it. If it's a group one, there's like an entire Facebook group you can like message and they're all in the same boat as you. And I really like the idea of possibly being able to like help other people having gone through this journey myself, help other people who want to do that too. 
but yeah that's something i'm just kind of developing at the moment so i kind of want to show these processes of me like building my business and ideas that are coming to me we'll see what like comes from them like this might be something that i'm thinking at the moment i might launch in like january so like be a month into the business and then launch something new today is the 4th of november and i officially have 24 days until i finish um which is so crazy uh, <laughs> please let me know if anyone else is watching this video or about to quit their job and they also have a counter or a countdown on their phone um it's not in a mean way i'm just very excited <laughs> this past week i have taken on a little bit too much work because obviously i still have a full-time job at the moment but i'm just so excited to sink my teeth into my business and i'm also I'll be honest, I'm a little bit scared that I'm not going to have enough clients when I quit. But even though, like, in my head I know I do, but there's a part of me who was always, like, you know, that I guess that fear factor is coming in. So I keep trying to, like, reach out to more people and pitch to more clients where I really just need to stop because I have about a thousand photos to edit and I'm not even exaggerating. One photo shoot I did this weekend had 900 photos. The one from last weekend I still haven't done was 700 photos. And there's a lot of lot to do but today at work i was feeling really exhausted and unmotivated and i knew when i came home i still had so much work to do so i popped in a little podcast um on my way home on the bus and just chilled out for a little bit and then i came home feeling really inspired i've been shooting some photos and something that i'm developing that i've sort of an idea i've come up with since i last spoke to the blog is i really want to implement a shop function on my store to try generate some like more passive income so i'm going to create some like ebooks which will be further down the line when i have more time um but hopefully some smaller like social media guides as well that will just be like literally five dollars for someone to buy so i'm hoping i can start on those in the next few week um weeks and i also want to create a sticker pack for instagram which is a kind of a complicated thing to explain um in this video so i probably won't go into it yet but i've been designing these little like brush strokes and pencil marks and like little kind of graphic things that you can copy and paste into an instagram story so these are kind of like the ideas that are going through my head 24 days out from launching my business oh no 24 days from quitting my job 26 days from launching my business so yeah there's a lot to think about there's a lot going on I think I need to do some yoga or something and stop being so stressed out though. <laughs> so today is my last day of work. I'm kind of freaking out about that. Um, this has been a long time in the works and I'm getting slightly embarrassed because I'm vlogging in a park. I'm on my way to work. I ran out of time to film this at home. I haven't really filmed anything at this past month because I've just been sitting at my laptop typing away doing stuff for my website and other things like making an email, making a newsletter, all that boring stuff. So I figured I would film a few clips today though because it is an exciting day and something I want to remember. So yeah, today's Friday, I finished today and then I'm launching on Sunday. Um, I'm doing like a little afternoon tea for work and got to clean out my desk. Oh my God, this is so weird. I can do it. I can hold the camera up. Oh, I have a pink bow in my hair. My mom put that in my hair. <laughs> it was attached to the flowers, the beautiful, beautiful flowers that I got given at work today on my final day. So I didn't film too much today because I was very busy, um, but it was really nice. Uh, so weird to have thought about that for so long and to have kind of daydreamed about leaving my job for a long time 
and then to like have handed an eight weeks notice and it felt like those eight weeks went on forever and then suddenly it was like oh I'm leaving now this is my last day <laughs> but I am very very lucky to have such nice supportive colleagues or I guess they're like my former colleagues now um but yeah they've all been like really supportive and nice with me starting my own business and going off on this adventure and something they do at Women's Day it's the magazine I worked for um is when you leave they make you a card and they make you into a magazine cover <laughs> so that's my face photoshopped onto some random person's bikini body running on the beach and it's kind of like full of like inside jokes let me turn this around this way so you can get a better look so like up the top here it's like peanut disaster i nearly died for Women's day this was when i went to melbourne to review the Harry Potter show and I ate peanuts and ended up in hospital <laughs> um, and there's a photo of me and my editor this photo here was from my when I first was interning and they got me to put on this goofy wig for some kind of um, wig day this was me dressed up as Belle um, this is me making a joke about how I make a lot of people cry in my interviews um, I, I'm very proud of that it's a great skill to have as a journalist <laughs> and these are some like selfies with interviews so that's Will I Am. So I went to LA for that interview, which was really cool. We've got Art and Matilda from The Bachelor. We have Jacinda, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. That was a very cool moment. I like this one down here as well, with uh, me photoshopped onto someone's body who's holding all this cash. <laughs> but yeah, it is Friday now. I've finished work. I've, I've got kicked out of my emails, got a notification on my phone, so I've removed that. I put up a little post on Instagram kind of like announcing that I was leaving and then tomorrow is going to be like prepping everything for the launch. I've got a few things to finish for my website and then my plan is for everything to go live on Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> this lighting is so orange but it's 10 o'clock at night and I just had my little moody orange live on um today is the 30th of november and tomorrow is launch day for my business ah. i didn't really feel much of what i was doing today i was just editing my announcement video for our channel and putting the final touches on my dishing up digital instagram which i'll link below if you guys want to go follow it and yeah i've been trying to do some like hyped up posts for my own Instagram so I put like a little countdown on the Instagram stories and I did a post yesterday about leaving so yeah hopefully hopefully people are excited like I am I went to the gym today and actually did like things with my arms I never usually do arm workout stuff but I did today and then I just did a really intense journaling session and like both my hands are just like so sore I mean I don't know why this hand is sore because I don't write with my left hand but just my arms everything hurts okay <laughs> I've really been enjoying journaling though throughout this process I kind of started in March when I was doing an online course that part of it was um, it was like a thing to do with starting a business and running a side hustle and digital marketing um, but part of it was also to keep a journal so I like did it just because I was paying all this money for this course I was like sure I'll do all the activities um, and then I discovered I really liked it and I used to keep a little diary when I was in school um, obviously it was all just like random stuff about like boys and girls in my class and people I didn't like and someone like believe me like it was very I don't know childish but I do think looking back now I think it was quite good for like processing my emotions at that age and it's kind of funny that I've come back to it now so it all started off very like business focused and I was putting in like my money goals because I'm very interested in this idea of like manifestation and like writing down goals and like making them happen so I've been doing that journaling kind of like on and off like sometimes I would only do it like once a month once a week um, I got really bad recently just because I was so busy and then the last two weeks um, I'm sure you picked up on my announcement video I've had some like personal personal <laughs> I can't speak properly I've had some very like personal changes in my life and I don't really want to go into it right now but journaling has been really good for that and it's a really great way to just pour out your emotions and process things I'm like turning into just the most cliche woo woo girl writing in my journal <laughs> it's good I like it but for now I need to take this clip out and I need to put my pajamas on and go to sleep because I'm so 
so tired. Um, and tomorrow is gonna be a big day. Exciting. I just realized I'm 10 minutes away from launching and I haven't actually spoken to the camera this morning. Um, I have just been prepping my Instagram post. I still need to finish writing my caption for our YouTube video. Um, uh, I don't really know what else to say. I'm doing things. <laughs> I also did my makeup all like girl bossy. We're also going to film a video today but then it's funny because I'm wearing pajama pants so it's like business up top and then I won't show you my pajama pants but trust me they're there. <laughs> I was totally gonna do a dramatic vlog countdown going three, two, one, publish, and I already published it and forgot to vlog because I'm so, excuse me, excuse me, big life moment coming nowhere here. Please shush budgies. Basically, I'm just a bit of a nervous wreck and I forgot to film anything, but my Instagram post just went live. I changed my little profile picture. Here I am. I did a little like gallery. Oh, oh, oh. I did this little gallery, so there's like a little screenshot of my website as well. I wonder if I spell that right. Wouldn't that be bad? Dish, dishing up digital. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I think. <laughs> oh my goodness, my posts are all up. Um, oh goodness, it's so bright, and I just ate breakfast, so my lipstick's probably gone all smudged. Oh my goodness. So it's been like half an hour, and all my posts are up, and I'm getting so many nice comments and messages. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. Oh my goodness, the sun though, it's ruining my moment. If I come over here, is it less bright? I mean, it's partly to do with I'm just so pale, so everything looks so bright. Um, I just wanted to give a special shout out to Audrey Dickinson, who was the first person to comment on uh, on my YouTube announcement video and she just left me the nicest comment like I was almost crying reading this and I was like mom mom look at this really nice comment um, so thank you and thank you for anyone else who's left me a comment like I'm literally so buzzed right now <laughs> this is so exciting I'm so excited and the rest of this day is just gonna be full of lots of fun things I'm gonna try not to do like too much work I'm just gonna reply to comments um, what else? Oh no, actually Tara and I are filming an ASOS haul, which should have been up yesterday if our vlogmas schedule is running correctly. And then, very exciting, I'm having a picnic with my cousins. We're having a little cousins day celebrating an early Christmas just because um, one of my younger cousins is going to be away overseas. And we thought it would just be like fun to do. And then tonight we're actually having our like neighborhood Christmas party, which is kind of funny. Like, hey, what's my business? Hi neighbors. Um, Everyone thinks it's funny that we still do neighborhood Christmas parties because it's like so old school. Like these days people don't really know their neighbors. I think after that though, I'm going to go to the chocolate boutique with my friend Alex just to do like some sort of epic celebration and not be like too anticlimactic. <laughs> and I also thought that would be a good idea because going out to dinner is expensive, but if we just go out for dessert, that's cheaper. <laughs> so that was all the footage I have. I got a bit excited and overwhelmed and just exhausted after my launch day and I really wanted to enjoy some time with my family and my friends so I didn't really vlog anything else but I did have a lovely picnic with my cousins and then I went out for chocolate waffles at the chocolate boutique and that was fabulous <laughs> and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in the next vlogmas video bye